Howdy folks, this is Chris with Big Guys Hike 2, and today is week 7 of my journey from dad bod fat to gym rat. Um, before we get started, I would ask you to please subscribe and also hit the like button and leave comments. Uh, this is a, a journey I'm taking for better health and I'm putting the video out to one, keep myself honest and secondly, is to help other people. So uh, with comments, we can help each other. So please don't hesitate to leave them. I will try to answer them. Um, for this week, this is the last injection of the five milligrams of Manjaro. I will be injecting a 7.5 milligram next week. Um, as far as the medication, the side effects are starting to uh, lessen a lot. I, uh, you're gonna have slow digestion. Uh, it's just the, kind of what the medicine does. Um, and and I first started, I was having problems with loose stool at the beginning and then constipation the rest of the week. Um, that's all kind of gone away. Um, I do go to the bathroom less frequently, but uh, it's pretty normal. And I do take a stool softener um, anytime I feel like uh, I need a little help. But I don't take, I was taking it every day, but now I'm taking it about every three days. Um, heartburn is the biggest uh, issue I have right now. I get heartburn when I work out and I get it when I'm sleeping at night. Um, a couple tums takes care of it. And I'm trying not to eat as uh, close to, di to sleeping time. Uh, so it tends to help a little bit with the nighttime heartburn. Um, I've also noticed with this larger dose that the first two days I feel really tired and uh, like I don't have any energy work, um, to be able to work out or whatever. I kind of push through it, but uh, I do feel really tired on the first two days after getting the injection and I feel fine the rest of the time. Um, the the 2.5, I wasn't getting uh, as much uh, appetite suppression as I am with the 5. Um, I do know though the last day or so before the next injection, um, my appetite comes back. So I'm hoping with the larger dose that'll go away. As far as my weight loss, you can watch this video right here. And uh, you know, it seems like uh, you can't see as much as I did at the beginning, but that's, you know, I think people are typical like that where you look like you lost weight at the beginning and it, as you lose the weight, it just doesn't seem as big effect weekly, but uh, overall it looks really good. I uh, weighed in at 283.5 pounds. It's a loss of three pounds. It's the largest loss, weekly loss I've had. Um, I've been averaging about a pound, give or take a couple ounces every week, but uh, this week was three pounds. I um, have lost 10 pounds since I started the Monjero, and I've lost 19.5 since I started dieting this year. So um, I'm really happy with those results. As far as my diabetes, my blood sugars had dropped down to uh, the one, 100 to 110s uh, since I started the Manjaro, but for some reason this last week, it jumped up to 110 to 120s. Um, and I'm not really sure why, because it didn't really change a whole lot um, during this period, so I'm not really sure why that happened. I did notice at night, I have a continuous uh, glucose monitor with the Dexcom, and it normally it's pretty kind of like wavy, real smooth, um, except for when I eat or diet, and then I'll get a little bit of jolt, and then there's a morning effect that I have that jolts. But other than that, it's usually kind of steady, especially at night, and this week at night, several of the nights, I was going up and down don't have any clue why nothing else changed but I was dropping down like into 70 the alarm set at 70 it went off uh, once as being low I've never had that happen and then it would go up to 130 and then back down into the low 70s back up to 130 down the low 70s several times in the middle of the night and I don't know that was a pattern I didn't see before but I saw three nights of the week this week so I'm not really sure what what that's all about um, I told you about the morning spike. I used to think it was the dawn phenomenon, and uh, I read a little bit more about that, and, and that has more of a gradual, starts at three, three in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, and kind of gradually goes up, so it's high in the morning. I wasn't having that. What I was having was it was 
kind of level all night. And then as soon as I get out of bed and start moving, I get a big spike. And I've been doing a little bit of research and um, what I found that, that explains it would be uh, I have a cortisol spike in the morning. Um, everybody has those. I just, I guess mine's more than most people's. And so it really spikes that. And with the diabetes, it's more noticeable. So um, I don't, I'm kind of going to talk to the doctor about how we can low, or kind of get rid of that. The other time is I noticed um, when I take hot showers, I have a big spike that comes goes up and comes back down real quick while I'm taking a hot shower. So I wondered if anybody else has that. So if you if you have, please leave it in the comments, and um, I'd be interested in what you, what causes your spikes. So um, I've been exercising pretty consistently. I go to the gym every day of the week, and I lift weights three days on one day off and I do the push pull leg uh, splits and then uh, I do cardio every day including the day that I don't lift I still do a cardio and um, with the cardio I always do like 10 minutes and if at the end of the 10 minutes I'm really feeling exhausted or tired then then I might do another five minutes and just do a 15 minute session but a lot of times I'll feel better, a lot better once I get loosened up and warmed up and then I'll go ahead and do anywhere from a half hour up to, to an hour is where I'm at now. Um, but uh, I'm learning to listen to my body. So if it's just I'm exhausted, then you know, I need to take some time off and let my body recover. Um, I was three times a week in the afternoons meeting up with a friend and doing some more cardio. Um, to help him out and also just increase um, the amount of calories I'm burning per day per week and uh, he canceled I canceled because of the holidays and having family in there earlier on and so we decided to just go ahead and uh, stop scheduling anything while we're on the holiday and wait until uh, the first week of the of the new year and start back up um, so that we didn't feel bad about missing times because like I said when you have family it's just too busy and, and hectic time so I still worked out my workouts in the morning so I'm hoping to get back into that with him um, here next week um, everybody that's been following my channel knows that uh, I injured my back in a rollover on a deployment back in 09 that made it so I can't really do sports or any kind of uh, uh, like running or anything that repetitively uh, jaw kind of bounces my spine back and forth. So I got to watch um, those types of things. And uh, I was in a car accident two years ago where I uh, had a tore or something in my rotary cuff over here. And I'm still trying to uh, rehabilitate that. It's coming a long way. Um, they tried a new technique of injecting uh, my own blood serum in there that's supposed to trigger it to, to heal itself and it worked really well um, I've tried some other stuff that didn't work as well I've been doing the exercises I'm increasing strength mobility and range of motion but uh, I still can't do any weighted press and I can't do any kind of reach behind down below behind me uh, as of now so I'm still working on that and uh, my bad luck I was doing some presses with some dumbbells and one of the dumbbells went kind of a little far out wide and uh, pulled on my right good shoulder and I thought I had done some damage to the rotatory cuff on that because it was pretty painful and um, for like three or four days I was really bummed out because I'm like I couldn't hurt my left again I had to hurt the right this time but uh, luckily for me it was just a muscle that I strained a little bit and uh, it's now recovered. So if it would have been the tendon, it would have took a lot longer than that. So that's back to normal, but uh, it taught me to pay attention to what I'm doing and maybe not go as heavy with the weights and maybe work a little more on uh, my uh, reps and keep the weight down so I don't cause an injury. Because the last thing I need to do is get injured where I can't do the exercises that I'm doing that are working to lose the weight. So that's being that. Um, I always hate doing New Year resolutions, but um, I wanted to, uh, I really wanted to 
do one this year, and my goal is that uh, I'm going to go ahead and lose the, extra, the next the 83 pounds that I need to to get below 200. And uh, by the end of the year, I want to be below 200 pounds. And I'd also like to get off all my blood pressure medicine and all my uh, cholesterol medicine. I went to the doctor uh, last week to my endocrinologist, and they drew blood work and. My cholesterol was all within normal range except for uh, the triglycerides, which were just slightly above. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, wait until I get that below, and then I'm going to ask me to start looking at weaning, weaning, my, weaning off the meds. Um, my blood pressure was within the normal range. Um, it was still a little bit on the high end, but uh, I want to get that down a little bit more before I start talking about getting off that medication. But uh, my resting heart rate was in the 90s and now it's in the low 70s so that definitely has uh, gotten a lot better and uh, I saw my cardiologist also uh, I think two weeks ago I saw my cardiologist and the heart issues I was having um, we um, kind of have decided that um, they went and did a bunch of tests and everything that uh, there's nothing that really screams that I have need anything done right now and with me exercising and improved uh, blood pressure and heart rate and all that stuff and uh, that uh, he's going to monitor me uh, once a year but uh, doesn't think that I have any issues right now and just other than continue to lose the weight and, and eat right so um, that's a win and uh, just want everybody to know that uh, you can also uh, get better health by just putting the effort out and doing it and like I said it's you didn't get where you're at now overnight you're not going to be able to reverse it overnight but uh, consistency and constant uh, improvements um, are the key to it so like I always say plan your hike and hike your plan